Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jess and today I'm going to be showing you 10 things to do when you're bored at home in quarantine or over the summer or whenever you're bored. So this is actually um, part two, so you can check out my first video. I think it's up there on the iCard. And make sure you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell down below so you know when the next parts come out. I have at least three more to go, I think. Um, but yeah, we do a lot of fun stuff here, so if you're interested in arts, um, art, crafts, and other fun stuff like that, make sure you're subscribed. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, um, but you don't know if you like it or not, so let's just get straight into the video. Alright, for my first idea, it is to do nature photography. I just went outside with my phone and started taking pictures of flowers, and it was really fun. You can also like walk around looking for them, and the pictures turned out pretty nice, so I recommend trying this. The next thing you can do with them is make collages out of them. So um, I just arranged all the photos that I took and I put them in these nice collages and I think they turned out really nice. My third idea is to bake a cake. So I've actually been doing a ton of baking but I did record me icing this one peanut butter cake. Um, so the inside layers, in case you're wondering, is actually like a brownie cake and then it's filled with this peanut butter ganache and there's also peanut butter ganache on the outside along with a chocolate drip, which you see me doing here. You can bake any cake you want and this is definitely going to take you all day if you want to decorate it too, so this will keep you busy. Here's what the end product looked like. If you'd like a tutorial on baking a cake, let me know. I could try to do that. Now I'm just going to show you some pictures of some other cakes I've baked throughout quarantine. Um, as inspiration um, for different cakes you can bake. Let me know down below which of these is your favorite and which one of these you'd want to bake. I'm going to have to say this one right here. This s'more cake looks amazing. And it was amazing too. Alright, next up, you can pre-make cards. So I'm just doing some simple watercolor cards that can I can use later on for any occasion. Um, this is a great idea because you can spend time making a nice card and then give it to someone, even if you're running last minute, uh, later on. Um, let me know down below in the comments if you want me to do more painting like this and um, show you, and I can show you in more depth how I did this card and others. But as you can see, you don't need a lot of expensive materials. I'm just using a really cheap watercolor, um, and you can use any paper you have. My next idea is for you to paint your nails. Um, you can get really creative with it and do it like all fancy. Um, make, I am cutting my nails first and then I'm filing them and then I'm painting them. I just like to put on my favorite YouTube video or Netflix or anything like that and just kind of relax. Um, I'm not really good at painting my my right hand because I have to use my left hand but I'll get better. So I just painted my nails white and then I put this glitter glittery one on top and kind of made it so it like faded so there was more glitter at the bottom and less at the top. So it was sort of like an ombre effect. You can use like paint, acrylic paint and dotting tools or Posca pens to add more detail. Um, so yeah, and you can look up inspiration online too. And then just put a top coat to see what comes out. The next idea is to redesign your room. It doesn't have to be your bedroom or your art room, your office, whatever. And I just basically um, took a photo of the area I wanted and then overlaid it with a bunch of images I found on Google. 
and I was just using Google Drawings to uh, make this. Idea number seven is for you to clean your art room or any room you want. And um, it's in this clip I took here, it actually looks like I'm not really doing much, but I was trying to get stuff off the floor because there's a lot of that, and I was really trying to like reorganize stuff. Um, I wasn't necessarily moving a lot of the stuff off the table, so yeah. But um, this room is really messy, and I plan on doing a reorganizing my art room video, so make sure you are subscribed for that. Alright guys, idea number 8 is to tie dye your clothes, so I ordered this kit um, from Michaels online and it was delivered to my house, um, I'll link it down below, but this is what the shirt I put before and this is the after, um, I'm going to be doing a tie dye video next, um, it's not going to be my next video, but it's going to be coming soon, so stay tuned for that, where I show you how I made those shirts and me. Idea number nine is to make French bracelets. This used to be a trend, so I'm sure you still have some materials left in. I'm using this board here, but it's from a kit, but you don't need this at all. Um, so yeah, if you guys did want a tutorial on French bracelets, let me know. I'm not an expert, but I'm sure I could help you out somehow. Um, so yeah, this is just really relaxing. I just sat on towel outside for a while, and it was really fun. Okay, so embroidering is really not that hard. Um, if you want me to go more in depth, I will bring out a tutorial if you're interested, but basically you just need a needle, um, and the eye just needs to be big enough to fit whatever thread you're using. I'm just using this embroidery thread, and then once you tie it through, just remove excess, and then um, tie a double knot at the end so that will not come through. And I am just embroidering this pair of jeans that I'm just embroidering on a flower. Um, a little wonky because <laughs> the fabric is not super good for writing with shotguns. So maybe do a letter with a pencil so you can see it, then still wash it out. So um, wash out your sketch. So I'm kind of freehanding this. So uh, yeah. Alright everyone, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below which of these ideas was your favorite, which one you want to try out, or just let me know what you've been doing to keep busy during um, your boredom. Uh, so I'll see you guys soon. Bye! And here's how the finished jeans turn out.